Roman Abramovich was born in a lower middle class family to Arkady Abramovich, a state office manager, and Irina Michelensko, a housekeeper, on 24th October 1966 in Saratov, Russia. Although Abramovich had a fair start to life as he was born to a middle class Jewish background, his childhood took a downturn following the death of his mother when he was only 18 months old. Months later, Abramovich lost his dad and thus became an orphan at age 3. His paternal uncle, Lib, assumed responsibility for Abramovich's upbringing and took him to Ukta, a famous industrial town in the Komi Republic of Russia. Young Abramovich enrolled in Ukta's public school. However, unlike his peers, he had an innate business acumen, which made him recognize the importance of money and the benefits inherent in saving money. Consequently, the young entrepreneur entered the business world, selling toys and fairly used car tires, while furthering his education at Ukta's Technical College. Subsequently, he enrolled in Moscow's prestigious Gupkin Institute of Oil and Gas and then traded commodities for Runicom, a Swiss trading company. In 1974, Roman Abramovich was drafted for compulsory military service while still studying at Gupkin Institute. However, he didn't consider a military career worth pursuing. Instead, the young entrepreneur devised means of putting his business instincts to good use by carrying out an unauthorized sale of gasoline to officers. That business move enabled him to save more money for future ventures and also marked the first among illegal schemes that would be later attributed to his fortune. Upon returning from the army, Roman started attending Moscow State Auto Transport Institute but he never finished his education as he was more concerned about getting rich quickly. Despite the difficulty of amassing wealth in the Soviet Union, Roman made a profitable earning in his early career by selling rubber ducks from his Moscow apartment. When Mikhail Gorbachev, former president of the Soviet Union, opened the door for privatization in 1988, Roman cashed in on the opportunity to legalize his toy business. After marrying his first wife, Olga, Roman used his 2,000 rubles his parents' in-law gave him as a wedding gift and spent them on expanding his stock to include banned products such as perfumes and deodorants. The serial entrepreneur founded five companies from 1992 to 1995, including the Mekong, which conducted resale, manufactured consumer goods and served as intermediaries, ultimately specializing in the trading of oil products. He began selling oil from Noyabs. However, it was not until he met Berezovsky, a businessman with close links to the former president, Boris Yeltsin, that his fortune changed. Abramovic's friendship with Berezovsky gave him access to dine with powerful men and provided a launch pad that shot him into a billionaire. Together with Berezovsky, Abramovic founded the Gibraltar registered offshore corporation Runicom Limited and five Western European subsidiaries. Abramovich was the president of the Moscow affiliate of the Swiss firm, Runicon SA. Abramovich and Boris Berezovsky purchased the majority stake in the giant oil company, Sibnef, in 1995. The transaction took place via the controversial loans for shares scheme, and each party paid 100 million US dollars for half of the business, over the 150 million US dollars stock market value of the stake at the time, and quickly turned it into billions. As of 2000, Sibnef delivered around 3 billion US dollars worth of crude annually. Abramovich established several fly-by-night firms and used them to acquire Sibnef's stock together with Boris Berezovsky. The same year, following allegations of fraud, Boris fled the country and sold his shares to Roman, who expanded his empire further. Roman began eyeing the Russian aluminium industry after achieving mega success with Sibnef. The infamous battle on aluminium was underway and there were many murders for the acquisition of the business. When Roman took it over and applied his business expertise, the violence ceased and he emerged the sole winner in the Russian aluminium war. The close ties between the oligarch and powerful men in Russia led to his being elected as the representative of the Chukukta Autonomous Okrug, an impoverished region in the far east of Russia. While serving as a representative, Abramovich embarked on a result-driven charity to alleviate poverty in the area. This initiative contributed, among other things, to his election as Chukukta governor, 
in 2000 and a subsequent second term election. The two-time governor was reported to spend over 1.3 billion US dollars, 925 million euros of his own money on the city, which now has one of Russia's highest birth rates. Living standards changed under Abramovich. Schools and housing were rehabilitated and new investors were drawn to the region. In 2003, a Russian business magazine by experts, Abramovich was named Person of the Year and given the Order of Honor for his huge contribution to the economic development of the autonomous district of Chukuka through a decree signed by Russia's president. Nevertheless, in 2008, Roman resigned as governor to concentrate on his new investment, Chelsea FC, in England. He had bought most of the companies that owned the football club in June 2003, and at the time of the acquisition, Chelsea was known as one of the weakest football teams. However, since his takeover, the club has won 13 major trophies, with 2010 being the club's first ever league and FA Cup double, and the League Cup three times, making Chelsea the second most successful English trophy-winning club in the decade with 15 honours. His term was also characterised by a high turnover in managers, who can be dismissed if they do not deliver and maintain it. In 2015, Roman invested in music messaging, an Israeli music app, and offered them 30 million US dollars, collaborating with musicians including Nicki Minaj and David Guetta. Besides serving as a governor, Abramovich was the first person to recommend Vladimir Putin as a successor to President Yeltsin. As Putin assembled his first cabinet as prime minister in 1999, before they were approved, Abramovich interviewed each of the applicants for cabinet positions. Subsequently, Abramovich would be one of Putin's closest trustees. In 2007, Putin met with Abramovich on the issue of who would be his successor as president. Abramovich recommended Medvedev. The ruthless business mogul has faced many allegations of fraud, blackmail, and bribery. The Times magazine reports that he admitted to paying billions of dollars to achieve political favors to attain significant shares in Russia's aluminium and oil assets. His business partner, Boris Berezovsky, claimed that Abramovich had threatened him to sell his shares at a lower price than what they were worth. Boris won the civil case and got more than $3 billion as damages from Abramovich. Another company, Ugranev, received over a billion dollars for a lawsuit they won against him. Roman Abramovich is one who makes business profits from his relationship with others, including marriage. In December 1987, Roman Abramovich married Olga Lisova and ended up divorcing her three years later. In 1991, four years later, he married Irina Malandina, a stewardess, and had five children from the marriage. The couple got divorced in 2007 due to alleged affair with 23-year-old Dasha Dukova. Their expensive divorce saw Roman lose custody of his five children, as well as ceding mansions he had in the United Kingdom and a substantial amount to his ex-wife. But as it appears, the oligarch has a knack for expensive divorce as he in 2017 ended his relationship with Dasha Zukova after giving birth to two children. The cost of their separation, which was valued at $9 billion, is, according to many, Britain's biggest ever. Roman Abramovich has been honored with one of Russia's biggest honor, Order of Honor, and also received an Order of Friendship Award. He is regarded as the world's highest spender on luxury yachts and owns a fleet of yachts which the media have called Abramovich's Navy. Also, he owns a private Boeing 767-33AER dubbed the Bandit, registered in Aruba as P4MES. Abramovic was made an Israeli citizen a month after the UK delayed renewing his visa in May 2018. Abramovic, who is a Russian Jew, exercised his rights under Israeli's law of return which states that Jews can become citizens of Israeli from anywhere in the world, which also allowed Abramovic as an Israeli to enter the UK visa-free. Abramovic has also invested in more than a dozen Israeli companies, including Storedot, the developer of rapid battery charger technology. He donated 70 million NIS for nuclear medicine research to the Shiba Hospital in Tel Hashoma in 2018. Abramovic owns the luxury hotel Varsano in Niv Sedek neighborhood in Tel Aviv, which he bought in 2015 for 100 million NIS. 
and intends to convert it into his Israeli home. A man of an extravagant lifestyle, Abramovic purchased for $74 million and is combining four Upper East Side townhouses in Manhattan in New York City into a mega mansion. 9, 11, 13, and 15 East 74th Street. The combined mega mansion will be 19,400 square feet and it is estimated that renovation costs will be an additional $100 million. Roman Abramovic's story is a true grass to grace. He has an estimated net worth of about 12 billion US dollars as of March 2020. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.